Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a Tekken 7 online gameplay with Lydia Sobisuka. Now I'm pretty sure I did that horrible, but I do not know how to pronounce her last name. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Don't forget to hit the like button down below. And remember guys, any donation, big or small, will help the channel grow. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed today's video. All right, let's see who our next challenger is. So all we know about Lydia Sobetsuka is that she's a karate, I don't know why it says karate ka instead of just karate, but that's what I'm reading here. And it says that um, she's the prime minister of Poland within the Tekken series. She made her debut in Tekken 7 on the DCL in season four pass. Ooh, look at my opponent. He looks pretty strong. This should be a good fight. That's the Final Fantasy guy. Forgot his name. But let's read a little bit more about her personality. So Lydia is very patriotic, right? As she vows to win the seventh King of Iron Fist tournament in the name of the people and her country, right? So that's pretty cool. It says here, she seems to be unfazed by the threats that her aide warns her about and is afraid to confront Heihachi Mishima when he refuses to withdraw the Tekken force from Poland. Ah, so again, remember the Tekken Force and the G Force, everybody's at war with each other, right? Damn, he got first hit, bro. I mean, this guy should be more like in Soul Calibur as a special guest because of all his weapons and shit, man. But we got him, bro. Like, this guy's throwing like six, seven combos with his swords and shit, bro. It's a little unfair when this is just a fist fighting game. You're lucky I don't, um,. Like, pretty soon I'm going to start equipping all my characters with a Glock, bro. I'm about to start shooting every single Tekken character. I'm not playing. Watch. I'm going to drop my next Tekken video. Probably going to be with Eddie. And you're going to see him strapped, bro. But I think I can get this guy, man. I don't care about your swords. Ah, I hate that spear at the bottom. It's hard to... Like, I know you got to sidestep that joker, but man, it'd be a pain. Right, let me read more about my character real quick. So it says, uh, she is dedicated to karateka. Again, I have no idea. Obviously, it's a different form of karate, but whatever. Um, in her character reveal trailer, um, accidentally sips, slips into speaking like she's on the dojo, whistling on the phone with her aide, suggesting that she's more comfortable in her martial arts settings than in a political Okay. One of her debut wins... Um, animation shows that her offerings and her hands to her opponent. Um, it says here, what is whist? I don't know what that means. Hold on, they're talking about, um, well, anyway, it says with her hands to her opponent, saying, I went too far, and an ambulance is on the way, <laughs> suggesting that she, <laughs> she was thoughtful and self restrained to side her. Another win animation saw her thanking her opponent for the match in a traditional karate bout, suggesting that she has repeatedly uh, respect for her opponent and upholds the code of honor in her martial arts, which is badass. I, I respect that too. I like how they did that to her character. I'm still, yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what the hell is this? This word is W H I L S T. Like, I'm just gonna skip that and just say what she said, but it's everywhere here on the ring. Alright, so let's go to her story mode. Now it says here version 1. Alright, hold up. Now it's tied up, dude. Final round. You ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna steal this from me, bro. Hold up. My YouTube channel. I win. Back up. See, with this type of characters, bro, you can't let them breathe, bro. Because they're gonna start doing hella combos. Or they're gonna try to start juggling you. Nope. Not this time, homie. Sit your ass down. My character may be respectful, but me? Hell to the no. <laughs> I'm taking that W. <laughs> All right, let's see how our next opponent does real quick. So real quick, uh, it says here in version one, the young prime minister, Lydia, who will lead the next generation of Poland. Shout out to all my Poland people out there. I'm not from Poland. I'm sure it's nice over there. It says, born into a, let's see, a prominent political family, Lydia was destined to be a politician from the, from an early age. When Lydia was 10 years old and her 
grandfather became president of Poland. Nice. Let me see. Ooh, my character's on a win streak too. And he look and she look hella strong. This is gonna be a, another good fight, guys. It said, which attracted the public's attention to her as the next generation of politicians. However, as a matter of fact, Lydia had no intentions of becoming a politician and wanted to pursue her path of traditional karate. There you go. Now they're saying it right. Uh, which she was learning for her self-defense. Two years later, however, her life-changing incident occurred for Lydia intending to welcome her grandfather and father home from a trip aboard. Lydia was waiting for the designated helicopter when in front of her eyes, the government helicopter carrying her grandfather and father ex suddenly exploded and crashed. Damn, they killed off her daddy and grandfather. That's messed up, bro. At the time, the scattered debris injured Lydia's face. Well, that explains the scar on her face. And she fainted. A few days later, Lydia finally regained consciousness. consciousness. And although her grandfather miraculously survived. Nice. Grandpa survived. Her father died, unfortunately. It was reported that the crash was not just an accident, but a terrorism act aimed to assassinate the prime minister using explosives. Dang. Uh, it says here, Lydia was deeply angry and upset that her father had been killed and that it had been in, had it been no accident. Two months after the incident, when uh, let's say here it says, when a visitation restriction was finally lifted, she visited her grandfather and she was told never to give in to unjust power, never be uh, be strong both physically and mentally. Um, squeezing her grandfather's hand, she it says here she put hidden determination into her words. I have decided I will be a good politician like my grandfather and father. Nice. So now she's gonna pursue her politician career and her karate because now she wants to be strong mentally and physically. Nice. Oh hell no, I'm about to lose. Nah, bro. Can't have this. I gotta tie this up. Back up. My YouTube channel, bro. I gotta win here. Hold this three piece combo. Damn. Not to give it to me, I give to you. Ooh, she is tough. But for some reason, I keep catching her with that bottom leg kick. I have to keep doing it if it works. Come on, nice chest match. But I gotta get this quick W. We're going to a final round. Hadouken. All right, nice. Final round. Fight. Final round. Here we go. Mm, back up. It's like I want to keep reading, but <laughs> it's like this match is too close to, for comfort. Anyway, so put those words into practice. Lydia enrolled in the law department of the university at the age of 16 and graduated at the top of her class. Five years later, as soon as she was 21, she earned the uh, uh, eligibility for election. She ran for the national election and won at her first run. In addition, she won the world championship Kumite division of karate. Now, every time I hear the word Kumite, <laughs> I think of the... Uh, the John Clown Van Damme movie, um, Bloodsport. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor, go watch it. It's pretty good. Nice. I knew I was gonna be her ass. All right, let's see here. It says she also, yep, she won the tournament. Okay, it's in karate, which she was her first appearance at the age of 18. She continued to participate in tournaments even after becoming a member of parliament and achieve an unprecedented six uh, since uh, six consecutive victories and became familiar to the people under the nickname the strongest member of parliament nice Ooh, i'm finding steve the boxer uh, this should be a pretty good fight <sighs> As time went by, the war between the Mishima Saibatsu and the G Corporation intensified all over the world, and various conflicts occur, such as the Mishima Saibatsu illegally deploying special forces into Poland. With this demand for a new po uh, political leader rapidly increased uh, in the country, and in order to answer the call, Lydia uh, won the ruling first party uh, presidential election and became prime minister of Poland at the young age of 29. Hold on, let's see who gets the first hit real quick. 
Oh, come on. Come on. Hey, yeah, I got that. Alright, so let's see here. At age of 29, now it says here uh, Lydia, who became the Prime Minister, requested the Mishima Shabatsu to withdraw the legally uh, stationed Tekken Force, but threatened, a threatened letter arrived from Heihachi Mishima. Man, that guy's always up to something. Uh, it says here, the head of the Mishima Saibatsu, I am not going to obey the withdrawal request at all. If you're dissatisfied, uh, dissatisfied, you should come to the King of Iron Fist Tournament and negotiate directly with me. Damn, if that isn't a direct challenge, I don't know what is. <laughs> uh, let me see what it says here. Um, Lydia was angry with the concept, the content of the letter, but decided to participate in the tournament. I cannot stand for injustice. For the sake of the people of Poland, I cannot lose. Now, that was version 1. Uh, in the version 2, it says here, uh, it says Lydia had always been upright and a result woman. Uh, she believed that justice required absolute power, which is why she has shown great interest in karate from a very young age. The loss of her father um, stoked in her interest in the family tradition of politics. Now this is the version 2. Alright, so it says here, Lydia showed great qualities in both areas, entering and winning her first karate world championship at 18. Alright, we know that already. And her more recently being one of the youngest rising stars in the Polish political arena. The war started by the Mishima Shabatsu has greatly affected the Poland and she committed to settle the situation with her own fist. Nice. Now it says here, summary events during the Tekken 7. Hmm, it says, Lydia sent a request to Heihachi Mishima, the head of the Mishima Sabatsu, to withdraw the Tekken force from Poland. Now it looks like it's just repeating itself. Hold up. It says here, uh-huh, uh-huh. Her essence ahead to stay such a young age. Oh, nice, he accepted the rematch. I respect that, man. I gave you that rematch. Let's see how you do now. Mm, let me see here. It's basically repeating everything that it says here. Oh, it actually going to read what the letter says. It says here, Dear Miss Prime Minister, I did not intend to follow your request for the withdrawal of the Tekken Force deployment in Poland. However, I hold you in a high regard on the account of your accession to the post of Prime Minister at such a young age. I have no doubt that you will play a prominent role in shaping the future of your country if you are of the mind of corporate with the ambition you will have the strong support of the Mishima Saibachi for your country and all the endeavors related to politics economics and military affairs if you refuse this offer I am sure you understand the, the <laughs> yeah this guy is such an asshole understand the perilous situation in which it will place your country if you have any objections, you can always enter the King of Iron Fist tournament and propose and propose them directly to me. And then it says January 2nd, CEO of the Mishima Saibashi. So that's what the actual letter, the whole letter said. Nice. I mean, what else we got here? We got a couple of trivia stuff here. Uh, she practiced uh, Shotokan style of karate as the evident from her wide stance, straight close fist, strikes, and performing the... It says here, Kankudui Kankudai Kata in her reveal trailer as signature Kata of Shotokan. No idea how you say all that stuff. It says here, um, Juju, Kazuya Mishima's fighting style is also based on Shotokan, but Lydia's is much more traditional. Oh, that's, that is an interesting trivia. They have similar fighting styles. Nice. <laughs> Let me see here. Several of Lydia's attacks were motion captured from the Tatsuya Naka of the Japan Karate Association and the seventh Dan master that teaches Shotokan style karate. Nice. What else we got here? Oh, damn. He didn't maybe miss the special on him. I'm trying to end him with a special. Well, kid, that's me straight. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
I'll see you guys on the next one.